bullets. This is exactly how it was found. Um, you know, they broke a window to get into it. This Subaru in Nick Haas's auto repair shop lot is a stolen vehicle. He could tell it had been stolen and recovered it. Yeah, literally sitting across the street with another stolen vehicle together in tandem. Since last summer, Haas has taken it upon himself to track down stolen cars, trucks, and motorcycles and get them back to their owners. He's recovered 54 so far. This is uh, Catching Car Thieves. Haas spends time on his office computer on social media groups dedicated to the huge car theft problem, making note of the stolen vehicles online and posting ones he's discovered on the streets of Portland. This is working better than, unfortunately, than the police and the, you know, whatever automotive theft task force they have on hand. The first he recovered was a 1980 Harley Davidson. It was owned by a veteran and had a lot of sentimental value. Haas was instrumental in getting it back, and it felt good. I love it. I mean, that's my favorite moment is to capture that picture of them with their vehicle and that big grin on their face. Like, you know, it's going to be okay. And, uh, you know, that, that makes it all worthwhile. Haas rides a Harley and takes it on reconnaissance missions. He knows where to look, like along Northeast 33rd near Marine Drive. Mixed in with the old RVs in this stretch of homeless living are certainly stolen vehicles or what's left of them. They've stripped the VIN numbers off of it. They've, you know, cut up as much of it as they can. And here's a roof of what appears to be like a Ford Focus dumped over here. Stripped of parts, cut up for scrap metal. With more than a thousand vehicle thefts a month in Portland these days, there is a lot of it. This is very suspect. This is fresh, too. Just off 33rd, we found this nice but damaged VW Golf. Haas runs the VIN number, and it's not reported stolen yet. But, you know, there's no registration in anymore. There's no way to really reach out to an owner unless an officer calls them and says, hey, is your car supposed to be here? Well, let's face it, anybody who lives in this area, this isn't their car. You know, all they need is this right here. Back at Haas's shop on Sandy Boulevard, all it took. the owner of this recovered car is lucky. It still runs. So they want Haas to fix it. We've got a new window waiting to go in it. We'll fix the ignition lock, we'll put the new window in. But he's not into stolen car recovery for the business. He says it's about community, one that's hurting right now. It takes a village, and I feel like if I can lead by example, more people will start stepping up and doing the kind of things that I'm doing, and eventually these guys will start to realize this isn't a good idea anymore. Tim Gordon, KGW News.